Hello Jules! I'm here ready to make a video for you guys and this is all going to be about paint chips and paint. I know that everybody has a couple of these laying around, more than a couple I'd say. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make use of these paint chips and I know that uh, you can use these things for cutouts or um, uh, what do they call them? <laughs> Punch outs. But these are from my die cut, and these are just the 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 outlines. I guess the the garbage that you would throw away. So I'm going to make use of these, and we're going to make a little bit of art with it. So without further ado, I am going to pull out some of these uh, paint chips, and we're going to make some art with them. And I've already chosen a few of the the paint chip bases in just random colors so we have a turquoise, a blue, a black, white, and a tan and so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our trusty little sponge here and I need something to put this paint on. Why didn't I think of that? Hmm. Let's see. Let's find something to put this paint on. Okay. There we go. All right. So we are going to start with the tan, and let's find some paint. There. That's some pretty, pretty colors. found a metallic blue, blue sapphire is what it's called, and this is by Folk Art. So what we're going to do is we're going to put out a little bit of this paint. Let me look at the top of that. It's kind of gross looking. Alright, and then we're going to pick out something on here. Okay, let's choose you. Okay, and we're going to line this up. We're going to use our sponge to dabble. I'm going to use it as a stencil. Don't worry if you get it on the other part because we're just gonna play with that too. We're gonna make we're gonna make sour lemons into lemonade, aren't we? Yep. All right. So we're gonna pull that up and look what we have made. We have made a cute little decor item. And we're going to go in and we're just going to use the shapes that we have around here. We're going to cover up the, the stuff in the corner here. Use what you have. Don't throw it away. Very simple things to do with your scraps. May not be perfect, but hey, we're trying here, aren't we? Alright, now, I already got paint on this, but that's okay. That's part of arting. Alright, let's see if we can find us another something to put on here. Let's put this to the side, and let's find us a complimentary color. 
complementing color here. Sorry about that. The husband called. I had to take the call. All right, so I don't think I have any white in that. I don't think I have any white in that one either. There you go. I need to go through my paint. Okay, this one is a vanilla ice cream by, by Apple Barrel. Not very similar to the same color. Paint boogies. I need to re-up the colors in my paint palette, don't you think? All right, now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to use some vanilla. Cute, cute. What do you think so far? I'm loving it. Uh, loving it. All right, so we've got some cute little white flowers to go with the background. Cute. All right, now we're going to find something else. Like I said, you can use these as stencils or you can use it as the main art piece. All right, let's see, what do we have here? We have some uh, some little sides here, but I'm going to just use a little bit of the art in it. Okay. Let's see if I've got any of this cute turquoise, light turquoise left in here. Let's try it out, guys. Let's see what we've got. We don't need much. Come on. There we go. Just a touch. Just a touch. All right. Got a little bit of. I'm just going to use some of the, the edges here to make art with. Use them as stencils. Use what you've got. Don't think you can't. Have a little bit of faith. Just a little bit. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this design on the dress. Cuteness. Cute, cute. All right, so this is what we have. Oh, I have missed something here. I need to get over here in the corner. Got to cover that little bit of something up over here. There we go. So there we go. Look at you. We have made some art with just a little bit of paint paint swatches or paint chip. Here we go. Let's let that dry because we're going to spruce that up in just a moment. All right, so we've got that. All right, so let's do this. Let's use the black. The little black dress is what it's called. It's, by, it's the, the, uh, the bare. It's bare paint chip. So I know I've got paint all over my hands, but that shouldn't matter. Let's go with, let's see, I don't know if we have any more of this. If not, I'll go to my, uh -oh, my other paint swatch, or paint. I'm wanting to do a bronze. I want to do some bronze. 
turn that upside down. All right, and we are going to put this little ballerina in the center. And so let's use our sponge again, and we are going to sponge her on here beautifully. It might even mix with some of the paint that's already on here. Why not? Why not? Makes it even better. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got this beautiful ballerina. Look at her. She is beautiful. She's sitting on the very top there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dress that outside up. Let's see. What do you think? Can we use the paints that we already have here? I think we can. So we're going to use a little bit of this vanilla and this blue. And we are going to just stipple on the background. It's like she's floating. On water. All right. You can make something very quick and simple, but very elegant with just paint chips. Look at that. All right, we've got our number two done. All right, where did I put the other one at? All right, so we have two so far. What else can we do with our stencils that we have left over from where we were die cutting? Let's see what else we can we can see what else that we can do. All right, so we've got white, and we're still going to use the same colors that we have on our palette here. And so let's see what else do we have here. Do I have any more? Hmm, I must be in my other one. I have all my my outcuts. All right, so look here, we've got an edge here, so let's let's play with that. Let's play with our edges here. All right, so let's use what we've got here on our on our uh, board here. Easy peasy with just a couple of spots of paint and an imagination, you can make magic and art. Don't feel like you are limited to the expensive stuff. This is practically free. You can get a bottle of paint at Walmart for less than 50 cents to a dollar. And you can go to the paint section and pick these up absolutely free. Let's grab some of that. Bronze. Do I have any more in there? Do I have? Ooh, that all came out in one block. Easy peasy backgrounds. And don't worry about it if you smudge it. That's okay. Mistakes happen, and that's what we call with it. What does Bob Ross call them? Happy mistakes, happy accidents. Of course, yes. Happy accidents. All right, look at that. We have made another cute little background just from 
die cut off cuts. Okay, what else can we do with these? We have two more. What can we do? Hmm. How about we just splatter on some of this extra paint and see what we get. <clears throat> I'm getting paint everywhere. I use those background colors such as the off the, the ones that will pop off the pop off such as bring out the colors. I'm gonna put some more white on that. And then I am going to I'm gonna bring in some more of this teal color. This, not teal, but what is it called? Turquoise color. I'll make that color stand out just a little bit more. Don't move, stencil. got that and I am going to bring in the smaller flower and I'm going to put a little bit of this blue to the center if we can manage it beautiful pieces of artwork with just a drop of paint. Alright, last one. Last one. Can you believe it? We're almost done. Alright, so I've got this piece right here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's use up the, the runaway bronze. Or copper, excuse me. Why am I calling it bronze? It's copper. All right, so I'm going to load that up. I'm even pulling off some of the paint that's already in there. How about that? Turn this round. Load it back up. All right, and let's take that off. And boom, what do we got? We got a cute little banner there. And let's paint us up another flower. How about that? And we'll use a little bit of this turquoise. If it'll come out, you know what? I do it the easy way and just do it this how. Open it up. As you can see, guys, my paint's about gone. I'm being very easy with it. So I'm taking a little bit of that turquoise and I'm going to put it right smack in the center and paint up that pretty flower. Make it come to life. There, and then I'm going to pull out, where is it at? Where's that little bitty flower at? Uh -huh, there it is, right in front of my face. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to get just a touch of this blue, just a touch, not much. And we are going to place that in the center.
Okay. And look at you. You have already made a beautiful little card to put in somebody's junk journal. All right, guys. So let's review on what, sh um, what we have done so far. We have used offcuts from your die cuts. As stencils. We have used uh, pieces from a die cut where you're either cutting with your cutter. We have used simple paints, simple couple, uh, simple colors, and we have made five different pieces here that you can put in your scrapbooks. Aren't they beautiful? So guys, I hope I inspired each and every one of you to get out there and art and show, show me what you can do. Leave a kind comment in the comments below if you like this video. If you want to see more, please hit the thumbs up and please leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Okay. Anyway, if you would like to join our, our fantastic our fantastic crafty group, Creative Jewels by Emily, on Facebook. Go ahead and send me a friend request, and we'll get you in there as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, I hope uh, I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.